I'm doing Depp vs. Hard, pop culture, subby news, things like that. This year is from Inside the Magic. It's from September 19th, 2022, so it's still kind of new. And it says, Giant Depp once hoped to be knighted by England's Prince Charles, but his hopes were dashed because of a misunderstanding. This site here sometimes says positive things about Johnny, but sometimes sides with Amber. I think they kind of ride the fence. So let's see what they got here. And it begins. Once upon a time, actor Giant Depp joked about hoping to be knighted by England's Prince Charles, but his hopes were dashed due to a barrier created by the actors and the dignitaries speaking. Charles III once only referred to his Prince Charles' ex-husband to the late Lady Diana Spencer and current husband of Camilla, once Duchess of Cornwall, now Queen Consort, ascended the throne to September 8th, 2022, following the 70-year-old legacy of his mother, Queen Elizabeth II. But king or not, Charles III is no stranger to rumor, scandal, and ridicule. Thank you for that very detailed introduction. But recently, a resurfaced video of yet another famously ridiculed man shows him throwing shade of sorts at the newly crowned King of England, but many years before he was king. During the same time, actor Johnny Depp began to rejoice over his court victory against ex-wife Amber Heard following a six-week-long legal battle inside a Fairfax County, Virginia courtroom Queen Elizabeth II was celebrating as well, hosting her Platinum Jubilee celebrations. At the time the jury returned with its verdict in the case, Johnny Depp was also in Great Britain hanging out with an old musician buddy and joining him in doing what he reportedly loves more than acting, playing music. And then they say, this video resurfaced of Johnny that's critical of Prince Charles and not so tasteful, when all it was was a little joke. He basically said they met and their language skills, both of them, were so bad, they didn't understand each other. It was just basically a joke. It was from the Graham Norton show, and also Benedict Cumberbatch was on that panel at the same time. And here's a quote from Johnny. I was trying to get that sir thing Depp joked during the interview referring to being dubbed a knight. I sort of shook Prince Charles' hand. Then they go on to explain what happened. And this line here, I don't think you understood a word I said, Depp explained, is sometimes the only line that articles leave in, making it one-sided. But what Depp said, as they print here correctly, the actor continued by saying that neither could understand the other, which is important. So, in this case, I'll give Inside the Magic a little credit for doing better reporting than I've seen. At least they show both sides. Then they go on to say the audience laughed, as did Graham Norton and Benedict Cumberbatch, as Depp imitated then Prince Charles during the talk amongst the three. Cumberbatch remarked by saying that the knighthood was surely in the pocket for Depp. Okay, so they make the whole article, the whole thing about Depp was going to be a knight maybe one time, but really it was just some jokes on this show. So sometimes people come around here and they give me advice. Well, you should have said this, you should have said that. Why did you say this? Why did you say that? I think you're getting this wrong. But one thing I'm doing here is I'm analyzing the media and what's going around. I want facts straight. I don't want to spread around incorrect facts. Having said that, I'm not necessarily judging if everything is true or isn't true at that time. What I'm judging is how the media is perceiving it and what they're reporting. So right here, the report's pretty good, better than usual. They at least told both sides of the story. The headline, of course, is a little silly. I don't think Prince Charles was like thinking about that, like, I'm gonna knight Johnny Depp, but wait, he said the thing on Graham Norton, now I'm not. That's kind of the implication here, which is wrong, but they gave the full story, so all in all, it's fine. Anyway, let me know what you think down below. Doing shoutouts, special thanks, things like that. Let's do some shoutouts. Why not? Shout out to Cindy Bryden. Thank you so much for the articles, things like that. Shout out to KK. Always here supporting. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the comments. Shout out to Jam Price. Thank you so much. Great supporter here. And shout out to Pixamix Gamer, who's been here a long time. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't subscribe, I guess it'll be sad, but I'll get over it, make a new video, something like that. Done here for now. See you next time.